Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can use an image for the background of the header in your Squarespace 7.1 website. Really important to mention, this is for the latest version of Squarespace known as 7.1. If you're using an older Squarespace version like a Brine theme website, I have a different tutorial for you. A link for that is in the description beneath the video. But if you're using the latest version, Squarespace 7.1, you're in the right place. Now with this code, what I want to stress is that we're using an image URL. So I'd really like you to upload that image to your own website so you can control where that image actually exists. You can use an image URL from another website like Unsplash, for example, that has a bunch of royalty free images. If you grab a URL from there, technically it can work, but you have no control over that URL. So if they change the photo or change the URL structure, your whole website could kind of end up looking a little funky. So what we're gonna do today is upload the image to your website itself so you're hosting it, and then we're gonna use that URL to add it to the background of your website header, okay? Sounds complicated, but I promise you it's not. I'm gonna walk you through it step by super simple step. Let's hop into my demo site and get started with this one. So here we are in my demo site. I'm gonna to navigate to design and scroll down to custom CSS because everything we're doing is in this section right here. The first thing I wanna do is upload that file. So I'm gonna select manage custom files at the bottom. And this is where I can add an image file to my site. Now you can either click this arrow icon to open up your file explorer, or if you already have it handy like I do, just drag and drop it right there into your custom files section. The particular image I'm using is a really cool Lego pattern effect from photographer Omar Flores on Unsplash. Um, little known fact, huge Lego nerd right here. I used to do Lego competitions when I was a kid. It's a thing, look it up, it's awesome. Anyway, let's get to the code, shall we? Now this code is in the description beneath your video, so I'm just gonna copy and paste it right here. There we go. And the important part that you need to change is this section right there at the very top. It says URL goes here. Now you'll notice that's between single quotation marks. Leave those there. You need to keep those, okay? So I'm just gonna remove the text that says URL goes here, and I'm gonna open up this custom file section and click on that image. And now check it out, sweet Lego background for the header of my 7.1 website. So again, leave those quotation marks where they are, those single quotation marks, you want those there. Uh, that loads the image from the URL and places it as the background image for the header on your website. I also wanna mention, I've set this up to background repeat, no repeat, background size, cover, and background position, center. What those three lines of code mean, it basically says use the entire image, cover the whole thing, don't repeat it, and keep it centered. So make sure you have an image that is gonna look good and not super pixelated on a screen that can stretch pretty darn wide. Um, a standard would be like maybe 3000 pixels if that's what you're comfortable with. That's pretty huge for a screen. Most computer screens are a lot smaller than that. So if it's gonna look great at 3000 pixels wide, it's gonna look great at 1500. So make sure you've got an image of the right size, upload it here to your custom files and just replace your URL here in the code with the actual URL that you're using. And that's it for this tutorial. See, a nice quick one for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.